up YouTube, Scott Lett here, owner of Iron City Power Wash. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I'm off this week. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video from yesterday. I'm actually headed to Oklahoma for Thanksgiving with my wife's family. Um, and I just kind of wanted to uh, share my story with you guys. Um, I appreciate all you who follow my channel. I think I'm up to almost 900 subscribers, which is insane. I am going to be giving away um, something once I hit a thousand. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to give you guys yet, um, but if you want to comment giveaway uh, in the comments, um, hopefully in the next month or so, we'll be hitting the thousand subscriber mark, and um, I'll be giving out some sort of power washing piece of equipment, something like that. Um, in the past, I, I think I've sent out a turbo nozzle, um, a DN10 ball valve, and one other thing. I don't really remember, but um, I got a couple things um, in, in mind that I would love to uh, give you guys things that, I help, that help me on my jobs um, to work more efficiently and, and whatnot. So... But, uh, but anyways, um, I think I'm going to do a 12-volt pump, Everflow pump, something like that. But anyways, um, I've had a lot of guys reach out to me and ask me, you know, like, man, how did you even really, you know, get into this industry? Um, how did you start washing? Like, what is, like, what's your background? What's your story? So, um, I got plenty of time. <laughs> I got a nine-hour drive, so... Uh, but I'll try not to ramble too much like I'm already kind of doing. But anyway, so I worked at a pretty prestigious company here in Alabama. That's a company that everyone wants to work for. Very reputable. Um, I worked for Alabama Power. I used to be on the line crews, built power lines. Um, left that, went to another job there within the union um, as a technician working on housing meters and new installs, all that kind of stuff. Um, but I decided to go back and get uh, a master's in engineering and finish the program. I uh, did really well. I uh, finished with a 4.0. I'm actually a pretty smart guy. Um, but my senior design project had nothing to do with engineering. It had everything to do with just starting a low-risk business. And it was just a fun type thing. The, the dean of the um, program was an entrepreneur and he just loves those type of things right so he thought it'd be fun if we started a low risk business it could be you know a fictional business you know something that you just make up and you know just this thought an idea or you can actually do it I chose to go ahead and actually move forward and start my little business and so the neighborhood that I lived in at the time was um, a neighborhood with an HOA one and then a neighborhood with a lot of people who were retiring. So an older group of people who couldn't really maintain their homes. And the, the idea actually came to my wife because we had we were surrounded by older neighbors and they would always need help doing things. They would call me and I would happily go there and you know fix whatever they needed to be fixed. I'm pretty handy. Um, my dad built houses. I come from I come from a blue collar background, so um, you know I, I learned how to be you know, handy growing up, and then just learned different you know plumbing, electrical, you know different little trades here and there. You know enough to be an effective handyman. And anyways, um, so I started putting out some uh, ads on our HOA page for for handyman work and. Uh, my dad called me one day and said, hey, like, I have this little bitty pressure washer. You should advertise for pressure washing. It was like a 2.3 gallon per minute pressure washer. Um, I didn't know anything about anything. I didn't know how to downstream. I didn't know how to about, I didn't know anything about surface cleaners. I just knew how to crank it up, hook it up, and get to work. Anyways, I threw out a little, you know, advertisement on, um, our HOA page on Facebook, and dude, I got covered up. I was out there spending literally four hours on these little two-car uh, garage driveways, 
Um, and after about three months of that, my neck hurting from literally looking down, I was just like, something's got to give. So I went and bought me a, uh, I thought I was a big shot. I went and bought me a 3.3 .3 gallon per minute Simpson pressure washer. I ordered that bad boy. And man, I thought I was flying. I ordered too big of a service cleaner. I didn't know about, you know, the, the right size with the best performance, all that kind of stuff. Ordered a 20 inch BE. Man, I thought I was hot stuff, dude. I was on there, you know, thinking that, you know, going from four or five hours of driveway to two to three was, man, I got this thing going on. Um, and then <laughs> I put in a bid to clean this apartment complex. And again, I didn't know what SH was. I was just, it was all pressure in my surface cleaner. Well, I took on this apartment complex. Uh, looking back on it, it was about a $20,000 job. I got it for 10 and I had like two weeks to finish it. There was just no way possible I was gonna finish it. I didn't know. It was a huge learning curve for me. My pressure washer ended up breaking on me and I didn't finish. I was down about it, I was frustrated. I just kind of took a break from it. Um, but then calls kept coming. Um, so I just decided, I'm, you know what, dude, I'm gonna do my research. I'm going to buy a really nice pressure washer. So I ordered a four gallon per minute, belt driven water cannon, cat pump, Honda engine. And I still have that machine to this day. It's on my truck right now. Um, so I got busy with that. I bought the right size surface cleaner. I uh, bought another BE, but it was a 16 inch. And then I actually had a lot better system. That's when I started doing my research. That's when I discovered SH and bleach, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then around that time, um, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make this an actual company. So that's when I created Iron City Power Washing. Um, got my sole proprietorship. Um, started advertising outside of my, my um, neighborhood and um, put, up, put out some yard signs, printed off some cards, went to different apartment complexes. You know, I was defeated by the first one, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go buy this apartment complex, Let's give it my card. I got another apartment complex and it was a quarter of the size and I priced it 6,500 bucks, finished it in three days. Um, I had the right equipment. Um, I learned a lot from the previous uh, apartment complex that I failed at and also discovered SH. <laughs> As we all know, SH makes a huge difference. Anyways, around that time, uh, Tyler, my business partner, he was working at a local uh, gym called Iron Tribe. Some of you guys may be familiar with that. He called me and he was interested in the industry and he helped me on a couple jobs and he went out and bought his idea. I'm just gonna go all in. He went to Northern Tool, bought a four gallon per minute uh, pressure washer, got after it. He's a well-known guy in the area like myself and dude, he was killing it, man. I'm talking about just making a lot of money, um, doing really well. And I was just sitting there like thinking, what do I do? I'm still here at this power company, um, you know, doing all right. So the power company backstory is I was in a job that was slowly gonna go away. That's why I went back and got my master's. Um, and I was pretty much maxed out on my hourly pay. I was a union guy. And even with an engineering degree, a master's in engineering, they just said, hey, look, you're a union guy. You're probably gonna stay in that position. And I was not going back to the line crew. Like, I was never home. I have kids, I wanna be home. I wanna be around my family. I wanna see my kids grow up. So, left the power company and partnered up with my best friend, Tyler. And, um, and we haven't looked back since. And uh, I did move to Oklahoma for about a year and a half. That's a whole nother story. Um, to get my wife back to her family, but things didn't work out out there. Um, we, you know, we just didn't, business wasn't as good out there long term. I was going to have to do all the work and it was just not really scalable there. Uh, the biggest thing I was missing was the relationships aspect. Um, so yeah, I mean, Google my business, Facebook, you know, digital marketing works. Um, but if you can tie that, you know, um, with your relationships, you have a really solid marketing plan. And um, going back to Birmingham, after people have kind of followed my story on Facebook and just kind of seen like what I've been doing, um, when I got back, I mean, 
we've been overwhelmed uh, with work. So, um, so yeah, I mean, started off working for a prestigious, reputable power company to now owning my own power washing business, uh, which came from a small handyman business. Um, so I kind of just stumbled into it, guys, to be honest with you. Um, but the greatest resource out there is what you're watching right now is uh, YouTube, you know, thanks to Billy Davidson and um, a lot of other guys in the industry, um, Aaron Parker, Lena Mead and his marketing um, advice. Uh, there's, there's a lot of guys out there that I watch. Um, Joe Deary with Power for Improvements, man, he's, he's a soft washing wizard. Um, I love his work ethic, he keeps it real. Um, I probably watch his videos every single day. Um, Cody down at Southeast Soft Wash, those guys have a very solid sound operation going on down there. Um, those those are the guys in the industry. Uh, Ray Notario, I think his name is, he's solid. Um, very, very knowledgeable, he's a lineman like myself. Um, so yeah, those are guys that they know their stuff, man. Um, and and uh, they'll help you get going um, in the right direction. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my story. Um, just kind of stumbled into this industry and I found something that's very lucrative. Um, there's, there's a much, there's a high demand for these services in my hometown in Birmingham. And um, I'm gonna capitalize on that. And this is something that I enjoy doing. Um, just realize it takes time. It's not, always rainbows and butterflies you know the videos you see on youtube you're seeing all the good stuff uh very rarely do the guys talk about all the hard things involved you know like getting outbidded for a job or your machine's breaking um or having a slow week um you know or damaging someone's property killing some plants like um those things happen right um I would say probably the number one thing that probably puts guys out of this industry is they don't have the grind factor. Uh, they, they get on YouTube, they watch these videos, and they just think that they can go buy this $15,000 rig and um, they buy all this equipment that they don't even really need because they don't know what services are already in demand in their area. They spend all this money, forget about marketing and lead flow, and then they're dead. Um, or something breaks. Um, I will say if you don't come from a background of being somewhat handy, you know, with plumbing, electrical, basic tools, um, you're gonna struggle. You gotta, you have to have some kind of blue collar, black background, and just having some kind of, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mindset, right? You gotta understand, like, I gotta learn, I gotta know how to use basic tools. I gotta learn how to fix stuff. I gotta learn how to use a vice and channel locks and socket sets and wire up different things with 12, 12 volt systems and knowing what batteries to use. And uh, there's a lot to it, you know. And I build my own rigs out. Um, I don't hire people to do that, but you know, it takes time. You know, I've I've had people reach out to me and you know ask me to come up to their house, you know, in in Michigan and come up and build a rig for them. You know, so if you ever want me to come and fly me in and help me build your rig i'll be happy to do it um, i don't know everything but i know enough to get you a good rig going so um, that's kind of my story guys um, it's been one of the best decisions i've ever made um, i have a lot of freedom uh, with my time and family a lot of financial freedom making more money now than you know i'm not going to talk numbers that, but that i've ever made in my life um, and it's it, it hasn't been it as easy as it looks right there are there's a lot of things on the administrative side that i talked about yesterday that you have to have in place and um if you want to be an effective company you got to be organized and but the one thing that you can't teach is hard work um and the grind factor you got to get out there and grind you got to get out there and work hard um you know living a life of integrity being honest with your customers and um Find your price point, stick to it. Don't don't be wishy-washy in your prices. Um, you know, we have a 250 minimum. We're about to bump it up to 350 because we're so busy. And if people aren't willing to pay that, then we're going to move on to the next job. You know, we're out for, we're out there for the high-end um, tickets and and the commercial and residential world. 
and uh, we don't you know, that's kind of where we're at but it's taken us a long time when we first started we just took jobs just to just to make money and, and get our name out there so anyways guys that's my story and uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys have something similar to that you've had a job in the corporate world you didn't like and uh, now you're doing what you really want to do. Scott Lett, Iron City Power Washing. Happy Thanksgiving. Get some rest. This is my pup. Say hey, Ruru. Say hey. Talk to y'all soon.